Hi, this is Brandon with Android Advice and Tutorials. Um, we've had a few requests on on what everything is when you get your brand new Galaxy S5 and kind of how to set everything up, so here it is. Um, when you get your new device, um, whether it be brand new out of the box or used, you want to make sure when you turn it on, you, it comes directly to this screen, the Wi-Fi screen. <clears throat> um, if it does not, you're going to want to go through um, and do a factory data reset if you had purchased it used um, to be sure that everything is wiped so you're starting fresh. First thing you want to do is connect to Wi-Fi if you have a Wi-Fi connection. Okay, connected. So once you're done and you've connected to Wi-Fi, go ahead and hit next. Now it's going to give you end user license agreement and all that. Um, you have to go ahead and just say yes. Um, you can say no thanks on the bottom one, but the first one you have to agree to. Um, so let's go ahead and hit next. Okay, second, if you have a Google account, <clears throat> um, well, here's a pop-up. We'll go ahead and go through that. Um, Google has its own kind of spam checker, you know, uh, malware, things like that. Um, you can accept this or decline it. If you plan on using something like Lookout Mobile or some third party, you can decline it. Um, I'll go ahead and accept it for the purpose of this. Um, here, if you have a Google account and you've already been using Android phones or, you know, you live anywhere with Internet, um, you will probably have one. Um, so go ahead and you will hit yes. You can say no and continue on if you would like. And um, what that would do is just set up the phone without it being attached to Google. But if you want to download any apps or anything, you will have to connect it to a Google account. So let me go ahead and um, plug all this in real fast. Okay, once you have that plugged in, we'll go ahead and hit next. Okay, it says agree to terms of service. You say okay. It's signing in just takes a moment. Okay, now here it's going to ask you if you want to back up and restore. So basically if you already had a Google account and you want all your apps to come back onto this new phone, your Wi-Fi passwords, all that stuff, um, you can check that, uh, that as well as um, if you want it to back up in the future, as long as you have this phone, you want any apps that you download to be stored, you want your contacts to be stored, you want your Wi-Fi passwords to be stored, all of those things will be backed up to your Google account if you keep this checked. Um, you can uncheck it if you don't want to, um, but I recommend having it checked. Um, location. Basically what this does is it will um, kind of help with your GPS. Um, and also allow your phone to actually find your location in certain apps, even if you have GPS turned off. So we'll go ahead and leave those checked. Um, let's go ahead and scroll down. Keep me up to date with news and offers from Google Play. Basically what that's going to do is subscribe you to their new newsletter. I'll go ahead and turn that off. <clears throat> so whenever there's updates and things, it will notify you via email. Go ahead and hit next. Restoring, it's pulling things in from my Google account. See, it already knows my name, so it went ahead and pulled that in. Um, if you did not select that, this would not show up, and you would have to um, type in your name. Let's hit next. Next. Okay. Next, what's going to happen is a Samsung account. Okay, Samsung has recently decided to kind of stop service on their Samsung hub and things like that. Um, but if you already have apps in a Samsung account or you prefer to use Samsung apps, you can sign in or create an account. Um, personally, we don't really use it um, except for on devices like Note um, and things that have those S apps. Uh, so we'll go ahead and skip that. <clears throat> now here, if you would like to, you can go ahead and set up additional email accounts. If you have a Yahoo email account, you can go ahead and select that, go ahead and set it all up. AOL, you know, or just Exchange Server if you're using um, a work email or um, really anything outside of, um, you know, Gmail. Click hit next. Okay, this is an AT&T device, so there is an AT&T um, locker that holds um, a lot of your, you know, pictures. It's basically cloud backup. Um, we will not use this, so we can hit skip at the bottom. Not all devices will have that, of course, only the AT&T version. Um, and then, of course, waterproof uh, device. Um, I say waterproof. I would just use it as if it's water resistant because you really don't want to get it soaked. Um, but that is it. You are now all set up. Um, 
Of course, we'll go ahead and say if you do not have, um, you know, some devices don't use a SIM card. Some do. Um, this one is an AT&T device, so it does use a SIM card. Um, and just to go over this, we have a wireless charging pad in here. Your device may not have this, or it won't come with that. Um, here is where you would put your SIM card and your SD card. Um, so if you do have one or the other or both, this is where it goes. Um, and that's it. You're, you are all set up. Um, your device will work uh, as if it's brand new. It'll be blank unless you did the restore option. That will bring in all your apps and all those types of things. Um, so hope that helped. Um, if you have any questions, you can comment to this video or you can visit us over at android-advice.com and uh, ask us there. Anyway, thanks for watching.